Can Aston Villa really win the league? It's undeniable that Aston Villa are having a wonderful season. At the time that we are creating this video, they are third in the Premier League, which is higher than clubs like Manchester City and Tottenham. And more importantly, they're just two points behind the top of the league. But do they actually have the possibility to be title contenders? Well, in order to answer that question, we can't just be looking at their form and judge by recency bias. There's five key factors to take into account, and the last one is the most important one. But let's start from the first one. Consistency. This Aston Villa side can take two paths. The first one is similar to the one took by Leicester City in 2016, or Napoli last season. These two teams managed to ride the momentum generated by their unexpectedly great start. They keep winning throughout the whole season, and the consistency of their performances eventually made them become champions of their leagues. The second path Aston Villa can take is obviously the worst one, where they have a great start, but they can't live up to the expectations. So their form level drops, and at the end of the season, they accomplish nothing. And when the season is done, they'll just be another example of what could have been. As you can probably tell, what plays the difference between which of these two paths Aston Villa is going to take is consistency. The quality to consistently deliver elite level performances week in and week out for the entire season, just like any top team that wants to win titles. Now let's move to the second key factor, squad depth. Nowadays, football teams, especially the Premier League ones, all have super busy schedules filled with almost two matches per week. Obviously, teams can't rely on 11 players only because they can't play all games or else they're going to get tired, fatigued, and injured. It's crucial to have a deep squad with players that are all good enough to be always starting so that the coach is able to effectively manage fatigue throughout squad rotation. Aston Villa will have to play Conference League and FA Cup and obviously the Premier League. The question is the following. Does Aston Villa meet the squad depth criteria? They do. Other than the main starters, they also have great players that they can rely on as substitutes. Zaniolo, Jacob Ramsey, and the list goes on. This allows Emery to manage fatigue properly in the team. Squad depth also depends on something though. That is the third factor for Aston Villa to win the league as well, luck. Luck is undoubtedly one of the most important factors when competing at these high levels. You need luck to make sure that none of your key players get injured. You need luck in those games where even though the team isn't playing well, you still manage to scrap a win and go home with three points in the bag. You need luck to make sure that the bad shots end up as a goal after being deflected. I could be here listing thousands of moments you need luck in football. To sum it up, luck definitely helps the win. But obviously, it's not everything. Management expertise is the fourth key factor for Aston Villa's title run. But luckily for them, this shouldn't be a problem, as Unai Emery is clearly doing an amazing job, and he certainly has enough expertise to run the team while chasing the Premier League title. Emery made the right tactical adjustments to the team. Now it's all about keeping the morale always up, and making sure to manage fatigue in the team to not get injuries. But. The four factors we just talked about would all be useless and ineffective without the fifth and last factor, self-belief. Aston Villa are never going to get such a big achievement like winning the Premier League without believing that they can actually make it. Self-belief is crucial because it means you trust your own skills, which helps you bounce back when things get tough. When players have self-belief, they feel sure of themselves boosting how well they play, not only individually, but also at team level, by creating a great vibe in general. A strong self-belief turns potential into real victories, and it's always what makes a difference between normal players and champions, thinking you can make it against all odds. Therefore, this Aston Villa team is going to need a lot of mental strength to win. After unveiling the five key factors for Aston Villa to win the league, Let's answer the main question, can they actually make it? Well, their team is certainly good. Maybe not at the level of the big six, but it is a great team. And if all of the key factors we saw in this video happen to be applied, 
it's very likely that they might pull off the impossible. The only way for us football fans to find out is by waiting until the end of the season. Time will tell.